Today we'll be discussing question number two of ISC 2013 practical examination. So again, as usual, it's a matrix question. And what's happening over here is that you are supposed to create a square matrix A of size M by M and they have given a range for M. That means you have to check this constraint that M must be greater than two and less than 20. And what you are supposed to do is you have to display the input matrix. You have to mirror it and then you have to display the matrix again. So basically we'll need one function for getting the input, one function for displaying the matrix, one function for creating a mirror image. And what we have to do is we have to flip it horizontally. Mirror image means flip it horizontally. So if you notice over here, I'll just change the mode. So if you notice over here, what is happening over here is Mm -hmm. yes. So if you compare these two, what has happened is that we are flipping. Let me go down a bit so that you can see both the things at the same time. Uh, I'll close this. Okay. Can you see the whole thing now? See. So what is happening is in this case is in the original matrix, this column is over here. Right. And then it's going over. Here. Similarly, the other column, this column was over here and now it has come over here. Clear? So basically we have to change the first column with the last column, second column with the second last column, third column with the third last column and we will not go beyond half. Isn't it? Because if you go beyond half, then you will start inverting it again. That is not what we want. Okay. okay so we'll go into this detail when we'll reach that function. Right now, just begin with, let us begin with the main thing. So let's begin. I have uh, some boilerplate code already. So first we'll prompt the user. We'll say system dot out, sorry, spelling mistake. We'll say system dot out dot print. And we'll say input. We'll prompt the user. Then we'll create a variable. M and we'll say that okay M is equal to I n dot next I n two. So this will take care of the input. And then we have to check the range. So the range was M should be more than two and less than twenty and less than twenty. And M should be less than twenty. So if it is in the range we'll proceed normally. If it is not in the range, we'll display the error message. So system dot out dot print ln and we'll say output colon slash t and what was the message? Invalid range, isn't it? No, sorry. The message was size out of range. So this is our message. Any doubts in this part? Probably not. No, sir. No. Okay. So now we have to declare a class. So let's say that our name of the class is matrix. So what we want to do is first step is we'll create an object of matrix class. We'll say matrix obj matrix. And then we'll initialize the size via the constructor. So we'll say matrix and we'll pass the value m. So let's make a class now. So we'll say class matrix. And within the class matrix, we'll define our array A. So int A, double dimension array, so two box brackets. Now, since they are saying that the size is N, let's take a variable for size also that will decrease some typing at least. So we'll say int N. And then we'll come to the constructor. So we'll say public matrix. Now this function, which is a constructor, will automatically be called when an object is created and the value of m will be passed over here. So let's accept that variable m and then we'll store this m inside the instance variable. So we'll say this dot m is equal to m and then we'll initialize our array to the given size. So we'll say that, okay, a is equal to new int and we'll say m any doubt till this point? No, sir. No. Okay. Then we also need to enter the data. And for that, we'll create one more function. We'll say public void 
get input and within get input we'll say scanner in is equal to new scanner system dot in it's always a good practice to close the scanner object so we we'll close it and now we'll have to take the input so it's a square array so for int row is equal to zero row is less than m row plus plus similarly for column we'll take one more loop int call is equal to zero call is less than m call plus plus and then we'll get the input we'll say i n dot sorry a of row column is equal to i n dot next i n. so this will take care of the input any doubts no sir no okay so we'll call the input method after this so we'll say obj matrix dot get input so this will take the input now we have to display the original matrix first with the prompt original matrix right so let's do that so we'll say system dot out dot print ln and we'll say output colon slash t original matrix was in the next line right no i believe in the original question original matrix was next to it it was like this just hold on that's typing mistake so original matrix and then this is how it was in the original paper okay so we have to display okay. original matrix so we'll go over here and we'll say original matrix and then I want to display the thing. I can make a function by the name of display, which we can call on this object, but uh, we'll use all the features which we know of, which are in the syllabus. So we'll say system.out.println. We'll say obj matrix over here. And what will happen due to this is that computer will try to convert this object into a string because println takes a string. And in order to do so, it will try to find a function by the name of public string to string so if this function is present it will be called and here we'll say that okay string output is equal to nothing and then we'll display it and to make our task easier i'll just take this loop from there and i'll paste it over here and i'll just say so we'll say system dot out dot print so and we have if to store it oh sorry yes we have to store it so we can't do this we'll say output plus is equal to this and sometimes we need a tab sometimes we don't need a tab please notice we are supposed to give one tab in the beginning and this is separated by a tab character so what we'll do is before each row we'll say output plus is equal to slash t this will take care of the tab in the beginning and uh, here we say that if column is less than m minus one we'll add one more tab to the end so this will remove the trailing tab so we'll say plus is equal to slash t and oh. then when the function is over we'll say return output yes any doubts so i wanted to ask that like uh, in the beginning we have to display the tab so like we can display tab before every character like we don't have to use uh, the condition as well i don't understand what you're saying so like uh, uh, we are uh, okay, writing okay. output you, okay you want to add a slash i have one more doubt i'll just check it i mean we might have to balance one tab over here if it doesn't align properly that's why i'm doing okay. it and and okay. moreover, we usually do it so that's more simpler. But we'll try that out. Okay. So, do we need to run this once to check it out? Uh, it is clear, actually. Okay. 
just for sake of completeness, let's do it. So if I run it at this point of time, and I give, we forgot the name of the variable, okay? So that we have to do. So if I say three, and then I enter the values, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we press enter. It's all coming in the same line. So what is to be done for that? So backslash in new line. Where? Uh, so after the finishing of this loop. Okay. In so event. we'll say output yes. plus is equal to slash n. So this will insert a new line. Let's run it once more. So control it. It's not like this. We'll run the code once more. And again, we forgot m is equal to, but no problem, 3. So we'll say 1, 2, 3. Then we'll say 4, 5, 6. And then we'll say 7, 8, 9. We press enter. And there you are. It is displaying the original matrix. So no problem in that. Okay. Now let's come back over here. And now what we need to do is we need to mirror it. So basically what is required over here is we'll say obj matrix dot mirror. We'll call the mirror function. And after the mirror function, we have to display the matrix again. So we'll go to the next line. We'll get rid of this. And we'll call it, what was the message? Mirror image matrix. So let's copy it. Why to type it? So I'll copy the message from here. We'll move over here and we'll say mirror image matrix. Now we are getting an error over here because the function is not defined. So let's define the main function. Public void mirror. Okay. So again, we'll be requiring two loops. One loop for all the rows, one loop for the column so i'll say for int we have to do we have to swap all the elements in the row so the this loop will run full so we'll say row is equal to zero row is less than m row plus plus so this is straightforward and now till where we should run the inner loop Yes. Less than m by 2. Are you sure? In all the cases? Mm, so in all, uh, okay. it will run, I think. Yes, uh -huh. so in all the cases. Okay, now please, please pay attention. If we run, you are saying m by 2. So let's say in this case, m is equal to 3, isn't it? 3 by 2 integer by integer will give you 1.5 and when it will become integer, it will become 1, right? So the loop is going for 0. That means this column, which is okay, but it is also doing it for this. Though the answer will remain the same, this is actually not required. You yes, are changing 16 than. with 16, 2 with 2, 1 with 1. So actually... Yes, it is less than m by 2. And what will happen in the even case then? Uh, sir, it will be uh, like it is 4, so it will be 2. So it will be 0 and 1, zero not and 2 one. and 3. Okay, so that will take care of it. No adjustments required. So we'll say call plus plus. And now we need a temp variable for making the swap. That means what I'm trying to say over here is that uh, we'll take a variable by the name of temp first. So there will be a variable temp. We'll place this value. How you're planning to start? We'll first move four to the temp. That, that will be step one. Then we'll move 12 over here. That will be step two. And then we'll move this temp over here and we'll keep on doing this for each of the rows. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's do it. So we'll clear the screen. We go to the program and we'll say that, okay, we need a variable for swapping. So we'll create one variable and we'll call it temp. So the first step is, yes, what is the first step? Temp is equal to A of row column any doubts in this no sir. no then the next step is a of row call is equal to row is going to be, to be the same but column we are coming from the other side other side means m minus one minus call one minus call so the idea is that first time 
m minus 1 is actually a constant call is changing so if the size is 5 and the call is 0 5 minus 1 4 will remains constant 4 minus 0 means last element 4 minus 1 means second last element so that will take care of that so once this is done I think that's it do we need to do anything else so we have to replace temp back yes we have to in... replace temp back back in the same variable so I just copy it to save some time and then we'll say that okay this is equal to temp so one by one all the columns will be swapped let's try to run the program and see whether it gets swapped or not let's run it I'll run it and I, again we forgot that line still three and then we'll say one two three four five six seven eight nine we press enter and let's check so one four seven three six nine let's check it for one even case also just to be sure so we'll run it once more and i'll say four and let's enter one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then we'll say thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 and 4, 8, 12, 16, done. Clear? Okay, now let us correct that mistake which we are forgetting again and again and that is here we have to say m is equal to something. And there's one more case left, the invalid case. So if I run it again and let's say we enter 25, we are getting output size out of range. Yes, any doubts or clarifications? No, sir. Okay, so no, now sir. I'll push this on to the repository so that if you want to follow the program again later, you can use the link given in the description, right? So, first I'll push the question. Corrected formatting. And then I'll push the solution and we'll call it. added solution of IFC 2013 question 15. Okay then, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir.